Hey there, before we start the tour today, just wanted to point out regardless of what's going on, you can still take a step back and enjoy a beautiful day like today, which is what I've been doing. I actually rode a Harley around that we took on trade. Um, it was pretty fun, but by the way, that Harley is for sale. Now, let's jump right into this 2007 Four Winds Magellan 36K. Uh, this is a triple slide gas coach on the Ford chassis. We just took out the carpet in it and replaced it with a LVP type flooring and the interior is gorgeous, but we're gonna start on the exterior as we always do. Now in the front, like I mentioned, it has a 6.8 liter Triton V10 made by Ford. This one has about 33,000 miles on it. Now you've got dual paint, like two pieces of glass for your front windshield. And this one actually has a crack in it if you wanna take a look at that. It's not in the view of the driver. It's actually complete, nearly completely out of the view. However, we may be able to consider something. We may replace it. Um, you know, we just need to talk to you over the phone, come to terms, is basically what needs to happen on that. Other than that, the front is all right. We've got a few little rock chips, you know, uh, actually a good bit of minor rock chips on the front. Not too uncommon. Uh, this is just the reality of driving a coach, you know, on the highway. It's got an updated look to it. You know, it's right around that generation in 07 when we started making these things look newer, give them a little facelift. So I like the face of the coach. And you know, to a degree, this is like a baby brother of the Mandalay, which Four Winds also makes. So it's a good, it's a well-built coach. Now let's come around here. Now, before we continue, I want to mention the exterior of this coach um, is, you know, it's not perfect. So we're going to grind through it a little bit today and you know, kind of grit our teeth, hoping it was, wishing it was perfect because believe me, I wish, you know, I love seeing coaches that are in perfect condition, but this is the reality of this situation. The exterior is not perfect, um, but the interior of this coach, in my opinion, certainly makes up for it because the interior is, is drop dead gorgeous. Um, we've got some beautiful upholstery in there. Like I said, we put the new floors in, triple slide, we've got an updated couch. So the interior um, is to die for, especially in this price range, but the exterior is not perfect. Now you've got this little electrolysis going on. So they look like, uh, if you've seen those alpha coaches, if the alpha coaches weren't fixed, they always did this. Um, and same with this, there's really no way of fixing it unless you spend an incredible amount of money. Now you can do some Bondo and stuff and make it look a lot better, but you know, it's just some flaws. Now this actually has 22 and a half inch aluminum wheels. Now these particular wheels were only available from the Ford chassis spec. And they look really good on this coach. You know, take away from that gas, you know, a lot of older gas coaches before this were not so, they, they looked kind of scrawny as far as their wheelbase goes. Even though you have a big body, if you have a small looking wheelbase, it doesn't look good. This with the 22 and a half, these are like diesel coach style. They ride better and also they look a lot better and give the coach a better stance. Right here, we've got a nice storage compartment. And that is actually passed through as well, if you can see up in there. So right here we have a little, uh, just a little scuff and a minor dent here. Some of that can be taken off with a polish, um, but some is going down and has cut through the paint a little bit. Right here we've got our batteries. Um, yeah, so scrape there and I'm nitpicking the coach you know that's what we're we're kind of proud of how we do business here at RV Max um, lost my balance a little bit and we like to point out what's wrong with our coaches we understand that these aren't perfect now there on the left we have our hydraulic system because this coach actually has all hydraulic uh, slide out so all three are hydraulic which I really like that's a huge hydraulic is um, systems are much more reliable in general than the electric systems that drive some slide outs and stuff here driver front now we're gonna go see the driver rear all right then we're gonna move around to the passenger rear you can see how quickly they come down and hydraulics are typically more powerful as well as much more reliable um, that's one of the big pluses about hydraulic is beyond the power, 
is the reliability of the system. Now here, this is actually the maximum spec generator that you could have gotten in 2007 from this coach. Um, there were three different generator choices. Now this Onan Gold 7,000 watt uh, gas generator was the highest spec and the most expensive to get. And just want to point out, there's some more little stuffs there. This is our wet bay, um, as well as where we can plug in the power. So, you see you've got your uh, marine style power cord over there. You've also got some outlets. And you can turn your water pump from out here, on from out here as well. Got an outdoor shower. Got this quick fill up, so that's just a bypass. Um, and we also have a flush system, that is really nice. Uh, so you, what you do is you plug water in there and it flushes out your tanks, I believe your waste tank. And this way when you're dumping your coach, you can go in and clean it out as well and keep, your, keep those sensors in good condition. There's already a quick dis disconnect as well. Now this has a 60 gallon fresh water tank and it has a 96 gallon propane tank, which is quite a large propane tank for a coach like this. And you also have 49 gallons in your waste tank tank size and your gray is 48 gallon. So the, the storage as far as sewer and gray goes is pretty adequate. Freshwater is okay. It's not the biggest freshwater tank I've seen, but it is a pretty large freshwater tank. And if it's just two people, it'll last you, I would say, nearly a week um, of using it 100% of the time. Now in here, we have our water pump. Up above, uh, that's your water tank. And I like the easy access you have here to your water pump. Right here we have some more storage. And then to the right of that, we have our fill up. Now this has a 75 gallon fuel tank, which is actually a big upgrade. The previous Ford model um, large chassis that they put in gas coaches would have a uh, 55 and 65 gallon fuel size. I like that they upped it to 75 um, in this year model. We've got more storage here. All right, so point out some electrolysis along the slide just a little bit. However, if you take a step back and, you know, like I would say, this is probably about a 20 footer, 25 footer. Because when you take a step back from the coach or you see it driving along down the road, um, it still looks pretty good. The exterior from a distance looks excellent. It's only when you get up close you kind of see some of the little pock marks here and there. It's not perfect. Now around back, you can see the large windows that you have in your bedroom area. And depending on you know, whether or not you like how they look out here on the inside of the coach, it gives you a beautiful view from your bedroom uh, looking out wherever you happen to park this coach. Um, so I really like that a lot of manufacturers don't have really huge windows. Um, so the ones like this manufacturer, Four Winds, that put in these special really big windows even on the back of the coach is fantastic. And you know, as much as I like diesel coaches, it would be really hard to do this in a diesel coach, you know, considering what you have back there. You have your engine and all that. It would be hard to do this. So this is something that I would imagine you really only see on gas coaches. Now, you've got a backup camera up top. Now we've got a 5,000 pound towing capacity hitch down here. The standard hookups. Um, there's a little scratch along here and a little scratch right there. But hey, look at that. The Magellan is in, uh, in pretty good condition. Let's go ahead and take a look at the roof. So this is the roof of this Magellan. And right here we've got our front air conditioner. We've got a satellite dish here and it looks like to the right, that little metal uh, stub was probably an old satellite dish that they took off after upgrading to this um, newer satellite. It'll be an automatic tracking system. Right here, we've got our standard antenna. Now, the seals look pretty excellent up top. However, um, every 10 years or so, you'll need to reseal the roof, this, is, this being a TPO roof. This one doesn't look like it needs to be resealed. The caulking looks good. 
And I'm walking around and I feel no soft spots at all and it's all sturdy up here, indicating that there haven't, hasn't been any major leaks in its past. Um, a lot of times, you know, coaches will have leaks. It's a pretty common thing. However, if a coach has a leak for around six months or so and it's, it doesn't get repaired, then you'll start to see the wood rot and that's when soft spots will start to occur. So soft spots can be um, a little turn off. This one certainly doesn't have any soft spots, so that's good. And roof looks pretty good up here. All right, so now on the passenger side of this coach, we've got our third slide poking out in the back. This is essentially a huge wardrobe area. Um, also holds your TV and a lot of storage space. So this just adds to your storage space. This is what the slide I was doing while not taking up space from your bedroom living area. And right here, storage compartment. And this is a pass-through storage compartment, by the way. Got more storage. There's a lot of storage on this coach. And this is actually a pretty tall gas um, coach. It is 12 feet 11 inches, including the air conditioners. So pretty tall. And I like that it has a better stance. Um, it just has more of a presence. And you also have more storage and a taller ceiling. It's got an 84 inch tall ceiling, which is pretty tall for, especially for a gas coach. Now here we have some more of that electrolysis going on. Um, again, the exterior is not perfect. However, I will point out there's no delamination whatsoever. Um, if you look down the side of the wall, the walls are perfectly straight. So the vacuum bond is in excellent condition. It's just the surface that's showing some, you know, some pock marks, like I like to call them. Oh. This is that 96 gallon propane tank, rather large propane tank, especially considering that this has a gas generator. So you could run your furnace for a long time, as well as your propane stove and water heater. Right here, we've got another large storage compartment. Um, yeah, very large, it's even got a shelf up top. Now, right here, we have our 10 gallon hot water heater. If I can remember, it was like 13,000 BTU. Let's just take a peek inside of it. Yep, 10 gallon uh, input, 10,000 10, BTU, okay. So that's a pretty big hot water, gal hot water heater. A lot of these gas coaches will have six, uh, six gallon hot water heaters. This is a 50 amp power cords uh, coach, which is just an internal way. Oh, this is locked. Um, let me grab the keys real quick. There they are. You guys are coming along for a ride today. You're gonna wait on me for uh, find the right key it's always a mystery you know when because we're dealing with so many even as little you know we're only s selling 10 to 20 motorhomes at a time even when you have that many coaches which is not a lot compared to a lot of other dealers it's it's still a learning curve for all the keys even though a lot of the keys are generic and interchangeable it's it's a funny thing um, now right here we've got our pass-through storage compartment that we talked about on the other side of the coach and again, the storage is phenomenal in here. And all of these are lit, by the way, with LED lights. Got some more little electrolysis going on. Yeah, th there's a reason I said we're gonna grind through the exterior, you know. I wish it was perfect, but again, nothing is perfect. But, you know, no d -lam is a good thing. And if you take a step back from the coach and look at it from a distance, like I mentioned, it is a striking coach because it has a fantastic stance. It's got those gorgeous aluminum wheels and it does look good from a distance. Now we've got a large patio awning here. Now this is a cloth patio awning with an aluminum cover. A lot of cheaper manufacturers will skimp on something with aluminum cover um, or they'll go with a vinyl awning. And there's nothing wrong with vinyl, but these last longer and they don't retain water as much, which means you know, a lot of times if you have a, a vinyl, especially a vinyl that doesn't have an aluminum shroud, they'll get wet and when you unroll them at this, or if you roll them up when they get wet, they'll start smelling, whereas these don't. 
yeah, very large patio on it. You can see how big it is. This looks about 20 feet, 20 plus feet. The coach is about 37 feet to give you perspective. All right, let's take a step inside. And as you take a step inside of the coach, um, look at the, uh, the stepway we had redone um, along with the rest of the flooring in the coach because you know it just looks so much better instead of the carpet. Well, we left these rubber tacky parts so you still have that good grip from the rubber coming in and out. Uh, while maintaining a gorgeous look. And this is a double step. The interior atmosphere this coach has um, is really gorgeous. It's one of the best aspects about the coach. Now right now we have two air conditioners running. They're ducted, so it's cooling down real quick in here. And you know it's got a lot of light and airy feels about it. Almost like uh, if you'd imagine a nice upper, you know, kind of upper scale um, little house on a beach. It's almost like that. Um, we've got a mix of this gorgeous tan leather, this beautiful LVP flooring that we just put down. It goes from the back of the coach all the way to the front, even up around where the driver pedal is and all of that. Um, the interior, when you first walk in, it feels like, first off, a little more quality than you would expect and just a feel of confidence and, you know, the fact that maybe you're on the beach somewhere. Let's talk lounge area. So this is one of the upgrades that was done by the previous owners right here. It used to have a couch, um, but it's now replaced with a gorgeous, you know, dual recliner setup. And you've got these nice cup holders in the center, a little storage compartment. Um, the color goes well with the rest of the coach. And like I mentioned, they're both recliners. So you sit down, pull this little latch, and you can sit back and recline. You can go way back like this, um, which I find really surprising. You know, they've done a lot with this amount of space they've had. This is a very comfortable recliner, and like I mentioned, this one does it as well. That's a great upgrade right there. Um, I really like that. Big windows. Goes with the style of the tall coach in here, like I mentioned, 84 inches tall. Now, up front, we've got an upgraded Vizio Smart TV. And what I like about this setup is it's actually on a swivel. So you can pull it out and you can go way over here with it, so it's easier to see from your recliners, which I really like. That's important. If you're going to watch TV on your recliners, um, you, know, you need to have the TV not in a bad place. You can also swivel it way over here um, if you're in the kitchen area. So this is a kind of a versatile, versatile setup versus what it used to have. You know, um, there it goes. Goes right back into place, which is an old TV that's just stuck there, and that's what a lot of coaches actually have. Now, the front upholstery is in good shape. This is another upgrade that this coach has. This is also a recliner, as you can see. Um, I really like the stitching. Um, it just looks really expensive and like a high quality piece of furniture. All of the, well not all of the lights, but nearly all of the lights have been replaced by LEDs, by the way. Let's take a step inside to the kitchen area now. In the kitchen area, we have a gorgeous hard surface. Feels just like Corian. It doesn't say Corian on it, but it feels just like it. Uh, nice little kitchen area here and this used to be a solid surface but it looks like it's been replaced by a stainless steel and I honestly think this is a really good upgrade I'm not the biggest fan um, in relation to the stainless steel there's not much else that I favor when it comes to a you know sink in your kitchen granite is pretty cool but I, I'm not sure I just really feel like stainless steel is the way to go and this is what this has you still have that one leaf cover from the old uh, surface sink. Now here we have a three burner gas stove. Looks like an Atwood. It says Wedgwood station, interesting. So we've got these two inserts here, as you can see. Both made of that hard surface. You don't often see this hard surface in gas coaches. Now up above, we have a convection microwave oven. It's a sharp carousel stainless steel. Now right here we have a four-door refrigerator that can run off of propane as well if you're not connected to power have your generator running. It's also equipped with an ice maker. Now we're going to turn around here and I like this little hutch area. It looks really good. It's got storage underneath. Um, it's just 
I just like the design of it, um, and I like how it makes the coach look, especially with this mirror. They didn't overdo it with the mirror because this, um, and there's only there's very few mirrors in the coach, but I like where they've done it. They've used it sparingly um, and delicately, and I like that. Sometimes if you have too many mirrors, it doesn't look as good in my opinion. So this right here is a nice little wine cabinet or what whatnot, whatever you want to have. You can have something on display in here. Um, and it looks like we've got pieces of foam that they have blocking the glass. This glass is see-through. So if I just pull this piece of foam out, you can see the glass is see-through. Um, so if you want to have something on display, you can. If not, um, you got these little foam covers. So I like that little area. Now, in your dining area, um, we've got comfortable seating for two people. Now, this comes out. So there will be a latch underneath right there. And then it slides out just like that. Very easy to do. We also have two fold-out chairs in the back of the coach. So you can very easily and comfortably sit, seat four people. You can have your main serving portions over there or maybe over here. Um, really, this thing has a fantastic kitchen area, especially considering the fact that it's only 37 feet. Um, and this thing has, this is, I was very surprised by the interior when I walked into it. This interior is fantastic. All right, let's start talking control panel a little bit. Just a quick overview, won't geek out too much over that. Then we'll talk about the bathroom area. All right, so right here we have our main control pa panel for a lot of different systems the coach has. So up top we have our sensors and level tests. We have our generator control, um, propane water heater, as well as the 110 volt element. We have our front air conditioner unit control, um, as well as furnace control. And then here we have our three slide outs, as well as locks. So this thing does have um, emergency locks. So if you want to lock down your slides, you don't have to actually manually put in the bars. You can just press a button. And down here we have our fantastic fan vent, which is an electric um, covered fan. So all you do is push a button and the vent opens up and you can control the fan from here. Uh, we also have just basic ceiling light. Let's talk bathroom. Now to your right, we have our shower set up. And I like that it has, there's an extra lock here for it. And it's also kept secure by a magnet strip. Magnet strip. Let me step inside the shower. The height is excellent. Um, the width is about average for a larger size coach, which means it's a little above average for a 37 foot bus. Um, but the height is pretty good. It's missing um, a sprayer, but we'll replace that. The flooring looks really good, especially in the bathroom. And unlike real wood, it won't bow up if you drop or get water on it. Now in your bathroom area here, pretty spacious. LED lights even in the bathroom and some storage up above. Over here we have our sink area, stainless steel airplane style sink. Got a bunch of storage underneath. Um, and this is like a cosmetic mirror. It's got your one regular side and then a magnified side. It also lights up, but it seems the battery is dead. There's like a little plug in, so you have to plug it in um, to get it to light up. That's pretty cool though. Storage back behind here. It's like a little vanity area. We need to put a bulb in it, but that's like $3. Good amount of storage here, right here. Now, right behind you, we have lots of storage area, um, and this is actually equipped with a washer dryer setup. Um, it doesn't have the washer dryer in it, but you already have your cold and hot water as well as exhaust air vent and power, of course. Up above, more storage, tons of storage. Oh, this reminds me. Um, this is for your central vacuum cleaner. You see this hose? So that, you plug that into your central vac. Come on up front. I'm totally forgot to mention. This coach is actually equipped with a central vacuum cleaner, which I really like. It's made by Dometic. So in there is where you plug in your connection to the vacuum. And you can quickly and easily remove this to get to your bag um, to clean it out, which is really nice and very convenient. You just turn this on. I got too excited about talking about the... Uh, central vacuum cleaner so I had to stop myself and here we are continuing again now right here is your rear air conditioner control um, as well as your rear furnace control 
let's take a step into the bedroom area. By the way, before we step in here, you've got two sliding doors. So you slide and meet the partition off the rest of the coach from your bedroom. Now you've got two slide outs here um, and a whole lot of space. Check out that window. Look at the view. Even though you only see a spiked fence and you know some trees in between an apartment complex, it looks beautiful and it's definitely a huge plus. You have a gorgeous camp spot, especially down in the Key West or something. You wake up in the morning and you have an amazing view wherever you are. This is one of the best features about this bedroom. Now this looks like um, a California king size bed, maybe a king size. It's super wide and very deep and you could even make it wider if you wanted to. You've got space on either side. So this is a massive bed and you could even go bigger if you'd like. Again, all of these lights are turned, have been changed to LEDs. The heat they put off is a lot, much more reduced compared to the standard lighting this coach would be equipped with. And they also require um, less charge, so they don't, you don't have to use as much power up while having your lights on. Got reading lights here for individually. Storage up above. It looks like they replaced the old crappy um, dim reading lights with these LEDs, which I really like, because you still have your old uh, reading lights here. Storage. There's like a little countertop on both sides. Now this looks aftermarket as well. Um, this doesn't particularly go with the rest of the coach. However, it seems to have a great job because I don't think there was anything here before they put this in. And this makes good use of this, this wall. You've got a lot of mini hampers here. So this adds tremendously to the amount of storage you have in the coach. I really like that. By the way, this is an emergency escape um, window. Let's talk about this nice amount of wardrobe space back here. They're automatically lit as well. So right when you open the door, they come on. Got a lot more storage down here. Pretty deep, all wood, all real wood. And these slide out, they feel well built. Very nice storage capacity. Look at that, same deal. Very nice storage capacity. Now this is really neat because TVs are not the most attractive thing to look at uh, design-wise, especially when it comes to bedrooms. However, this one actually has a hidden TV, so you have this gorgeous picture that really goes with the coach. But all you have to do is flip this up, and it, there are two magnets to hold it down, and you have a TV compartment. So you, you're already wired with all the power and everything. You just need to put in your own TV um, and a little, you know, a little shock. But that is a great thing. A great idea as far as styling goes uh, as a place to have your TV. Now we're just going to take a step back up here in the front main area of the coach and I think we're going to conclude the interior part of this presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's go hit the road. All right, we're getting on the highway now with this coach. And, you know, I've got to say that 6.8 liter Triton V10, it definitely has a unique sound. And in my opinion, it sounds far superior to the V8 uh, Chevy chassis for sure. We're up about 60 miles an hour right now. And really, I should wait because we're about to put brand new tires on this coach all the way around. Um, it, like I said, it's gonna have brand new tires and you've seen this at the beginning of the video. I mentioned it in, our, in my uh, black screen. Um, so it's gonna drive a lot better than right now with the new tires. That's always you know, how it is. But even still, you know, it's really smooth. I'm not having to constantly correct it. There is some wind noise. Um, you're gonna have wind noise in really any coach you drive. There's not too much rattling. We're about 66 miles an hour. I'm gonna go in and set cruise control. Oh, hold on, I gotta turn it on first, whoops. Now it's set at 66 miles an hour. We're cruising along with no problem now. And the coach feels really stable up at the speed. Let's go ahead and increase it to 70, and I'm doing it up a hill right now. Try to push her on up to 70 miles an hour here. And there's 70 miles an hour. 
I'm going to go ahead and set cruise. That's a hard thing for a coach, any coach to do, um, going up a hill to accelerate up the hill. Um, and this one did it with ease. We are, now I've cruised set at 60, I mean at 70 miles an hour. And not much correction I'm having to put into the steering wheel. It's staying in its lane just fine. Like I said, there's 22 and a half wheels. They really help the stability. And the new tires we're putting on actually are gonna be a little wider in the back. These are 235s. The new tires that we're about to put on are gonna be 245, so you should have more grip once we get our new tires on the coach. This is a very um, you know, low stress driving experience for sure. Excellent driving, especially for a gas coach. So we're taking an exit here. We're going around the corner, turning to at the same time. And it's staying, it's staying stable. It's kind of floating over bumps. I feel a little bit of the bumps, but it's absorbing most of it. All right, we're gonna test the brakes out here. We're going 53 miles an hour, downhill stop. They feel excellent. These of course being um, assisted brakes. The brakes feel excellent. Got my indicator on. Backup camera looks good. Yeah, the steering is good. I don't have to fight it to be in the lane. Um, it just wants to camp out there and hang out, cruise at 70 miles an hour with no problem, even up hills, um, which means you could tow a vehicle with this with ease. All right, so we just looped around. We're gonna start heading back towards the storage facility. Here we are, accelerating up a hill this time instead of downhill. I'm going to give it the beans. There's 45, 50 miles an hour. I'm going to back off a little bit. 55 miles an hour. I don't want to rev it all the way out. 60 miles an hour. No problem. Now we're about 70% throttle. 65. And just under 70, and I'm... Creeping up to 70, now we hit 70, and I'm gonna have to back off a little bit, there's a car. This thing has plenty of power. Um, now if you're towing something, it's not gonna accelerate like that, but with no tow vehicle, we're doing 72 up a hill. The whole way we accelerated up a hill with ease. I'm gonna turn cruise control on at 74 miles an hour, 73 miles an hour. Up a hill, no problem no problem whatsoever it just upshifted and now we get to the plateau of the hill downshift yeah like I said it's gonna drive so right now the steering is very good um, but it's not perfect and I imagine you know these older tires once we get those new tires on it's gonna drive so much better but even still it drives good right now admittedly the Wind noise is a little above average. I would say that. You could go with some extra caulking and put down some uh, some dead matting, which significantly reduce it. Um, for instance, you could put some matting up in your compartments up there and some foam underneath and significantly reduce the wind noise. Um, but right now, the wind noise is a little higher, but you know, this isn't a half a million dollar coach and it's got so many pluses. I mean, it's just sticking to its lane the side-to-side -side stability, I feel, is fantastic. Um, the V10 sounds excellent. It's got plenty of power. It's a good driving co coach. It's not perfect, but it drives very well. The fundamentals are excellent. It's got 32,722 miles. Cruise control works great. What can you say? This is a stress-free driving machine. All right, I think that's gonna conclude our review of this coach today. If you have any more questions about this or that Harley 883, <laughs> feel free to call or text me, uh, my personal cell phone at 864-376-5600. Um, check out our description. It'll have a link to some pictures of the coach um, as well as my phone number there. So thank you so much for watching and check out our channel as well. Feel free to subscribe. Um, if you subscribe, you can turn on notifications. 
which will send you a notification whenever we post a new video. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for supporting.